Hey y'all, so I want to do a walk around video uh, inside and outside. Obviously you can research these online, YouTube videos, but this is this particular trailer. Um, it's got a lot of uh, upgrades and things that I've done to it um, over the, the period of time that we've owned it for about two years now. Um, anyway, this is a 2018 Rockwood Rue 233S. It's a little bit of an unusual trailer. Um, it's a really fun trailer and we love it a lot. But uh, yeah, anyway, so we're uh, deciding to sell it and get something just a little bit different for our family. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, we camp all the time in Bodega Bay, Tahoe, um, all over California. And um, yeah, it's been a great trailer and it's absolutely flawless, no problems at all. So anyway, um, I'll start here in the front. Obviously, it's got a nice big, huge awning. I think it's 18 feet long. Um, really nice. It's uh, electric. So you just push the button, it goes in and out. Um, on the front, you see in this picture here, so it's a hybrid trailer. It's got these front and rear and side beds. It actually saves 10 people. Um, so we have a family of six, so we don't nearly fill it up. But um, anyway, so the silver blanket you see on there, that's an upgrade that I've done. Um, these are called pop-up gizmos or pugs. It runs, I don't know, three, four hundred, about four hundred dollars or so for the set. These are super high wind series. Got the elastic bungee cords on them. Um, I'll show you kind of a couple things here, but uh, they've also got these um, called pug gears. I put these on as well. The little black cord goes around there. Um, that helps secure them on there. Down here, uh, this is not the way they came, uh, but this little clip here. Um, well, they came, it's totally different, but I bought these and put these on myself. These are um, 3D printed, and uh, it's just so much easier. It's just amazing how simple this is now. It just attaches on this little clip here, and that's it. You just have to stretch out these bungee cords and, and clip them to the bottom of the carabiner. And, yeah, it's, it's way better. Um, so, yeah, on the front here, uh, kind of go from the front to back. Um, these boxes here, obviously, you see trailers all the time. They have one battery. Um, in these boxes, I've taken a picture of the batteries, but um, I've put as many as four uh, six-volt golf cart batteries in there. Um, there's currently two. Um, the other ones, uh, I got rid of those a while back. They're just getting old. So anyway, there's two in here that are much, much newer. And um, you can see the battery leads go down there, go to a kill switch and everything else. Um, two propane tanks. These are to the, from uh, Harbor Freight boxes. They're bolted down here bolted on some pressure treated wood here and that's bolted to the frame and I uh, got some clips here to, to use some bungee cords and strap down some other stuff if you want to. Um, two propane tanks all come filled. Two, like I said, two newer batteries. Two propane tanks will come filled. Um, this is a amazing jack here. Uh, I'm pricing this trailer with the jack here. Obviously it's uh, got, it came with a, uh, a power jack but it was a joke and it was terrible and I hated it. So this is about a 400, 300 hour, 350 or so, um, Phoenix Jack, um, 10 year warranty on it. And it's super, super fast. Uh, it's, it's always like the fastest Jack on the market. So it makes hooking up with weight distribution bars and everything very, very quick and easy. Um, that's another thing too. Um, we have the Husky Centerline TS, uh, weight distribution system. If you have your own, you don't want these, that's fine. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, I'll, I'll explain that in the ad too for the trailer. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, power jack, batteries, kill switch down there. Here's the other side here, nice deep slide for the dinette. Um, let's see here, the dinette's there. If you can see it, this trailer also has an option that we bought and upgraded it. it has a Max Air fans and the big covers on top, the big shark fin things. Uh, at the top there, gray things. Um, that way you can leave the vents open, fans on all night long in the rain, or you can drive with them open or whatever. Um, on that side there, you can see a solar panel. We've got 600 watts of solar panels and an MPPT solar charge controller. Uh, your batteries are never dead. You park in the sun, you don't have to worry about it. This trailer is fully ready to go, self-contained, and you don't have to worry about plug-in power. Um, if you want to run the air conditioner, the microwave, you have to turn the generator on. Um, that's another thing too, I see in the ad. Um, but yeah, anyway, so city water connection, we never use this. We always go dry camping, uh, winterizing. You don't need that in, around here. 
Uh, the windows are all frameless windows, so if it's pouring down rain, you can open them up and you don't have to worry about any water coming in. Carpeted storage here. Um, power cord. I put my weight distribution bars in there. Um, the uh, freshwater drain um, over here. We've got 30 amp service here. Plugs right in there. No, no cords to pull out and pull out and pull out and push it back in. Just a nice cord that just locks on there. Uh, fresh tank water fill here. Keeble, but I mean, we don't use that necessarily for camping. Um, anyway, no delamination on this trailer whatsoever. I've been meticulously maintaining it, seals and everything else. We really checked it out when we bought it. Um, bought it brand new. And uh, all the sides, all the walls are actually in perfect condition. No problems at all. Hey, look at that. It's a mirror. Um, another bed here. So this is a side bed. Um, and there the pop-up gizmo. You can see the solar panel up on top right there. Fridge vent. Um, tires. Check these out. These are brand new Carlisle tires. Our first set of Castle Rock tires that came with the trailer. Those didn't last long. These are brand new tires. We just put them on our last trip. And, um, yeah, I want to say about $700 or so for the whole set. Um, so that's a huge, huge upgrade. Brand new and maybe even 500 miles on it if that. If that. Um, bed here. Obviously, you've got zipper enclosures. Um, shower is right here, outside shower. Um, I added this as well. This is, again, a 3D printed thing that I bought from somebody. Um, the shower shower handle comes up here and locks in right there, so you got an outside shower, and it's easy to get to. That's really nice. Um, let's see here. LED lights all the way around. All the top lights, bottom lights, these are all LED arrays uh, in our bed here. So two people per bed, that's six people, dinette, and the couch, that's ten people. So the trailer will sleep with ten people, it's crazy. Um, spare tire right there, good condition, never been used. Storage back here, there's storage everywhere in this trailer, it's crazy. So I keep a small sewer hose in there and um, all of our sewer fittings in a bucket right there, a lantern. It's, it's quite a bit of space in there. You can lock it. Uh, and then over here, stabilizer jacks in the bottom. Those are all in good shape. I keep those um, uh, sprayed every trip we come home. Every every single trip I come home from, I wash the trailer down and uh, relube the, um, the stabilizer jacks and the slide seals and everything like that. Um, just because it's just a dry lube and it's it's a silicone base and it doesn't get gummed up and sand doesn't stick to it and there's no reason not to. So I just do it. Uh, awning's in great shape. No problems with the awning. No leaks. Um, no mold. No do really. Um, let's see here. Out here. Um, again, new tires. This is a black tank flush. So after you've gone camping, you dump the black tank. You can hook a hose up here and flush it. 110 power here on the outside. Cable again. Uh, here's a propane hookup for your griddle. Um, there's a table that goes right here. Um, I've got that. What's going on? So a table there. Mm -hmm. We're probably not going. Well, I mean, um, we're talking about going some more in the fall. I don't know. I'm saying maybe maybe it would be a good time to do it. Okay, sorry, my neighbor stopped by. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, back to where we were here. Sorry for the interruption. Um, on the outside here, so we got speakers, uh, dual speakers here on the outside um, for the entertainment center inside. Those speakers can, the sound can come out here. Um, you can actually mount the TV from inside the trailer on this bracket here. Um, bring your TV out, plug it in here, watch TV, have your sound come out. Those speakers, they sound great. Um, anyway, I think I was mentioning the table here when he, my neighbor came by. We have a table that goes on here. Um, it's a nice, large, like, two-foot table. Um, works great. And also a barbecue, too. We've never used a barbecue, but there's a barbecue that goes right here. Brand new in the box, and it's really nice, too. So, um, yeah, barbecue and table there. And heater vent here for the furnace. A nice big D-shaped grab handle here. Um, this folds in when you're driving. Put it across the door like that, so in case the door opens up, which it never has, it won't go anywhere. Um, locks in three different positions. So I can fix this for you here. Nope. Oh, sorry, my two, three, three, yes. Um, stairs fold in. They're pretty standard size, but I added these. And lots of stuff I've added to this trailer. So this is one thing I've added. These pull out like this. I hard to do it with one hand, but these pull out. They go down vertically. 
they are adjustable to screw um, threads. And what that does is when you step on the stairs, it doesn't it doesn't move, it doesn't sag, it doesn't do anything. Um, so we use those all the time, it's really nice. Um, storage outside here, more storage here. I use this for tools, bungee cords, power cables, um, uh, you know, cable lock for a generator. Um, and yeah, uh, hot water heater here. This is a dual heating, so this is um, uh, no rust either, by the way. I drain this all the time. Just take this plug out here, drain this, um, and uh, drain the hot water tank after every trip. And this is dual, so it's electric. It's electric and gas, or gas with electric boost, or it's just propane. All we ever use is a propane. I've used electric once, but all we ever do is use a propane, because that's what we do is dry camp. So, again, LED lights, uh, awning, and let's go inside. Uh, door on this trailer is a friction hinge, so it's supposed to go up to like uh, 15, 20 mile an hour winds without um, without slamming shut on your fingers and your head. So nice hinges. Uh, screen door. I added this grab bar here, um, so this is great for the kids. This is also an addition. So the grab bar is great. You can just close it with a screen door. Um, then this panel here is also an add-on. I put this on as well. This is great for the kids. This is great for dogs. This is great for cats or, or possums or whatever's in your trailer that you don't want to mess up your screen door. So our screen door here is in absolutely perfect shape, even though we have four kids. Um, deadbolt lock and everything there. Inside the trailer, um, immaculately clean. Uh, we use this trailer for sure, and we love this trailer, um, but we take good care of it. Um, the sink here, let's just go to the front here. Couch cushions, I took pictures of these two, but the couch cushions are in perfect shape. Um, we don't like really use this for sitting on very much, but it is a jackknife, um, jackknife sofa bed. So this grabs over, this makes into a nice big bed, flips over like that. It's got support, um, right like so. And hey, check it out. There's my uh, headlamp. Fell down there. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah, jackknife sofa, nice big bed there. Um, this flips over. It's so easy. Um, but we don't use that as a bed. We try to keep our couch as a couch and our dinette as a dinette, but hey, whatever. Uh, whatever you need to do. Um, up top here, lots of storage there, all the way across there. Um, and these are adjustable, so you can even go up higher if you want to, or uh, whatever for bigger stuff. Uh, LED lights in the whole trailer. Um, these are all on a central switch here, on the panel here. So it turns off most of the lights, like that. Um, uh, yeah, so cabinetry here. All of these panels are, that's an upgrade in this package here. All these are um, raised panel oak cabinets. I think it is oak. Um, anyway, we'll keep our paper goods here. Um, nice latches, nice tight, nothing ever opens up on the road. Um, shutters on the trailer, you just go up and down. Absolutely love them, they're great. Um, privacy curtains for the beds, every bed has them. Um, every mattress is like new. So it's like, they call it the teddy bear fabric or whatever. Uh, we've never even used these mattresses without mattress cover. These are from Ikea. Um, and these can go to the trailer as well. But, um, yeah, so we've always had a mattress protector on there. So it's waterproof. Um, the cushions are just like new, brand new. They're heated as well. So if you have hookups, you get plugged in the power, you get a um, little, uh, gadget that plugs into the, the bed to control the temperature. And, um, they're all three beds are all, uh, heated mattresses, uh, zippers, none of the zippers damaged. Everything works fantastic. Um, can't peek out there. Emergency exits. All these nets up here are for storage. Throw your cell phone up there. Whatever your your teddy bears, your stuff guys, your kids toys, whatever. Um, all the match, all the canvas is nice and clean. Um, no stains, no damage, uh, and no water damage. These trailers, hybrid trailers. Um, man, I'm telling you, we take really good care of this and watch the seals and everything. But if you shopped around at all, some of them are not so much the case. Um, there's no water damage. No water has ever been inside this trailer. Um, I'm really careful about that. So I check the seals yeah, and all that good stuff. Um, let's see here. Over here. Cabinets. More storage. This trailer's got tons of storage. We put games down here. Legos for the kids. Uh, dominoes. Um, here's a big upgrade. So like I said, I think I, think I mentioned there's 600 watts of solar on the roof of this trailer. Permanently mounted. This is an MPPT charge controller. So it's um, a much better version. If you don't know anything about solar, it's a much better version. 
Uh, so it, yeah, anyway, it's just, it's a good charge controller. Uh, 40 amps, I believe. So yeah, it charges up the batteries pretty quickly in the sun. Um, water filter here. Um, the water pump is brand new too. The original one was overheating and just kind of funky. So this is a much significantly improved uh, water pump. It's really, really quiet too. No, no, no problems there. It's all we ever use is a water pump. Uh, we never have fresh water. Dinette, no damage to the table. Nice and clean. Um, all the cushions here, just like new. Um, everything is great there. All the curtains are perfect. Uh, LED light here. Every light's LED. Lots more storage here. All the way down there. Tons of storage. Nice glass there. TV. We put a bigger TV in here. Um, so original TV got um, got broken. And we put a much bigger Vizio. It's a whole lot better, whole lot better TV anyway. So, but it swings out. It's on a pivoting arm here. I'll show you. Whoa. Yeah, it's on a pivoting arm, so the whole TV can adjust and turn. And if you sit on the couch over there, then it's good to go. Um, cable TV stuff there. It's got a signal booster for the antenna on the roof. So you push a little button here, and it, it's a power booster for the the signal. DVD players up here. Um, as far as Music and everything else goes. TV sound. I'll go through here. There are speakers in the ceiling. Two different zones in here. And then the one outside that I mentioned. Press the button, hold it in. And it shuts it off. Here, this is the antenna for uh, rotating the antenna up top. Uh, more things that I've done too. I put in a new charging center in here. This is a quick charge um, compatible. So it puts out the higher voltage for... Um, fast charging phones, um, it stays right like that. Nice shelf for charging tablets and stuff for our kids. Um, more storage down here. We keep the bunk fans, bed fans, some wires. Oh, and the cool thing is the TV. Even if you don't have hookups, um, with the trailer I'm going to include a 150 watt inverter. You plug it in here, and then you plug a TV into that little inverter, and bam, you got TV even with no hookups. It's pretty cool. Um, so you run it off the battery. Of course, the solar panels charge the battery. Back to the solar and the batteries again. This is a Victron um, power monitor system. So I installed this. It's, I don't know, a few hundred dollars. And um, it tells you exactly where your battery state of charge is. So you push the menu, cycle through there. It's all how, how much power you're using, how much power percentage-wise your batteries are at, um, the voltage, and everything else. Um, real time. It's also Bluetooth. You can hook it up to your phone with the app. And there's wires run down there underneath the trailer to the front to a shunt and uh, kind of blah, 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 technical stuff. So, yeah, anyway, that's really cool. Uh, refrigerator, again, more raised panels. I realize my video is going long here. Um, super clean. Every time we take the trailer out and bring it back, I always dry it out with a fan uh, overnight, clean it out, wash it out, dry it out. I mean, no old, no gross stuff. It's ready to go. The whole trailer is ready to go. Oh, it's lit too. So, uh, propane or um, electric. Turn it on, the lights automatically, on a switch to the door, works fantastic. Never had a problem with that fridge, it gets nice and cold, the freezer, fantastic. Um, more storage up here, storage, storage, storage. These are on a push button here, these are not on that main switch, so you can turn these on and off, a little button there if you don't want lights on here. More storage, this storage here goes all the way back, way back there too. Another bed here, again this is the way we do this, we have the mattress protector under here, and then we have... Uh, a sheet on top of that, and then our kids have a sleeping bag that goes on top of these beds here. So the beds will support, I don't know, 2,000 pounds, 1,000 pounds, these big cables, and they're still kept clean and everything else. The solar blankets that you saw, the silver blankets on the outside, um, they're on top of here. It really helps with keeping the sunlight. You can see the sunlight difference there uh, in the mornings. keeps it nice and dark so your kids will sleep in, hopefully. More privacy curtains here. And our bed back here. Fantastic. Our kids, we got two kids back here. A little storage thing. You got power over there in the corner. You got power here for the bunk fans, the bed poles. Storage, 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 storage. This is, goes to the outside storage locker there. Um, more power outlets there. You can hook it, put a TV here, shower here. Uh, we've got the big Max Air fans here. Uh, that's another big upgrade in this trailer here. Is those fans are amazing. Turn those on and it just sucks all the hot air out really fast. Shower, we also upgraded the um, shower head. This is a Octogenics shower head, I think it is. Makes showers a whole lot better. Um, caddy there for shampoo and stuff. Um, we take showers in this trailer all the time. No issues at all. We love it. Works great. Um, over here, sink, medicine cabinet, and keep some stuff in here. 
Um, lighting here, up there. Lights on, lights off. I'll switch here. Big cabinet here for everything in the closet. Um, towels, medicine stuff, first aid kit, pedal flush toilet. Um, no issues there. Just works like new, brand new. Um, storage down here um, for paper goods. Close the door, close the door. Thermostat for the air conditioner. That air conditioner works fantastic too. Um, more storage here, big pantry. Loads of space here. Um, I'll mention this pots and pans and stuff later on, but um, I want this trailer to be turnkey ready to go for a trip like immediately. So um, yeah, we'll talk about pots and pans and all that stuff as a, as a thing. More storage on here. More storage down here. More storage, more storage, more storage. Uh, stuff in here. And more storage here. Big upgrade here. Uh, put a nice new residential faucet in there. A single pool res residential faucet with a pull down. Did that. Works fantastic. Sink is sealed here. Um, it had a little bit of a gap here, so I pushed it up and re secured it from the bottom side. Siliconed it all up. Um, oven. It's a auto ignition. Click, 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 click. Lights the oven down there. Nice big oven. Stove top. Last cover here. Just fold it up. Bingo. All the way across like that. And you got your stove. Again, look how clean it is. Shiny, clean, because we keep it that way. It's a challenge with kids, though, but whatever. So, lighting for the hood vent and fan. Microwave. Also works great. That will run, air conditioner will run with the generator that we have. We'll talk about that one too. 3200 watt Furman. Um, so that's the inside. We keep these runner rugs down here. This folds down into a bed. Um, I'll show you some pictures of that. We keep the runner rugs in here. Everything is just like brand new. So, hey. So anyway, that's that. And I uh, hope this video was not too long-winded. 21 minutes.